What is up guys, today we'll be going over the top 5 rankings of the best NCAA wrestling teams in 2023. So first off, at number 5, we got Michigan. Last year, Michigan finished at number 6, but this year, they are going to be projected to finish at number 5. They scored 58.5 team points last year, and this year, they're going to be returning 47 of those team points uh, based off wrestlers that are returning. But they are going to lose two of their best guys in Nick Suriano, who was a champ last year, and then also Mason Paris, who won the Hodge Trophy. But... They also are going to get some great All-Americans that they got from the transfer portal. They got Michael Diagostino and Chris Cannon from Northwestern. Shane Griffith, who was an NCAA champion a few years ago. So they have a great roster that could easily contend in the top five this year. Then at number four, we got Cornell, who got third last year. And they scored 76.5 team points. But this year, the returning wrestlers are only going to count for 54.5. And, and that big difference is because Yanni Jack Mahas, who scored 22 points last year, is no longer going to be competing for Cornell. Uh, and he was the NCAA champion for them. But this year, they do have Meyer Shapiro, who's a pretty good wrestler. And then also Jonathan Lowe and Luis Hernandez, guys who are ranked in the top 10. Who are going to be entering the lineup again this year but another thing to note is that if Vito Arujo does not wrestle that's gonna be another big blow to Cornell and they might not even be in the top five then then at number three we got Missouri who last year finished at number five they're gonna be jumping up two spots in the rankings as they're returning 61 out of the 64 and a half team points that they got last year they have almost every single wrestler except for Alan Hart and Jarrett Jacks, who was their 157 pounder. And they also will have Josh Edmond and Cam Steed, who are going to probably be replacing those spots at 141 and 157. They also have their NCAA champion, Keegan O'Toole. So they're going to be a team that will be competing with Iowa and Penn State for sure. Then at number two is, of course, Iowa. Last year, they had 82 and a half points and they finished second. This year, only 66, but that's because they're going to be losing guys like Spencer Lee, Max Murin, and Jacob Warner, guys who have been consistent All-Americans for them. But in the transfer portal, they did be able to pick up Michael Vonovich at 149, Jarrett Franek at 157, and Caliendo at 165. And then also, Drake Ayala is going to be coming into that 125 pound weight class now that Spencer Lee is gone. So, Iowa should be a pretty competitive team and easily be able to get second or third in this year's NCAA tournament. Then at number one, of course, we got Penn State. Last year, they got first, and this year, they're projected 141.5 team points. And last year, they only got 137.5. So you might be thinking, how can they increase? Well, it's because they got some transfers from Aaron Nagao and Bernie Truox, both guys who are all Americans. And although they're losing RBY and Max Dean, they do just have just some studs in the lineup. It's a great freshman. Um, Carter Sirachi, of course, going for his fifth NCAA title. They got Aaron Brooks. They just have a star-studded lineup, and they're probably going to win it this year once again. That's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below what team you think will be the best team to watch, and subscribe for more wrestling content like this. Peace.